Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Payam. So today I want to show you about Jacobians and I want to show you that it's actually not that different from what you learned in 1D calculus with the 1D substitution rule. And, but, but one thing though, if you like Twilight, sorry, Team Edward is not winning here, it's Team Jacob that has the team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me first show you a 1D example, and then I want to show you that the multivariable example is exactly the same. Well, there are a bunch of steps that we need to take. Well, not a bunch, three steps. First of all, you would let u be 1 plus x squared. That's one thing. Second of all, u of 0 becomes 1, u of 1 becomes 2. Again, 1 plus 0 squared is 1, 1 plus 1 squared is 2. So in other words, what does u do? It takes what do you do. Um, it takes the interval 0, 1 and transforms this into the interval 1, 2. So if x is between 0, 1, then u is between 1 and 2. That's one thing. Lastly, uh, we need to calculate this du. So du is 2x dx. So the thing that we have here, x dx, is 1 half du. So most importantly, look at this formula. We find really that du is du over dx times dx. In other words, you take your new variable u, which is 1 plus x squared, and you differentiate it with respect to the old variable x. That's why you get du over dx, and you will see for multivariable Jacobians, it will be always the same. You will always take the new variables and calculate them in terms of the old variables. That's one thing, and then our integral becomes nice and happy. You know, our integral from 0 to 1, x over 1 plus x squared dx, Becomes integral from 1 to 2, 1 over tu du, and you can calculate it to be 1 half ln of 2. This is not why we're here today. We're here for the multivariable example. Okay, so again, I want to reiterate, you have three steps. You define your new variable. You want to figure out what happens to the interview original domain with those new variables, and you want to figure out what the differentials are, what the du equals to. Okay, now let's do the multivariable example. How about we calculate the following? Calculate the integral of like double integral over s of y minus x squared plus y plus x squared dx dy, where s as a square S equals to, so a picture says a thousand words, is this diamond here. Where this is if you're on 0, 1, this is 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1. So in other words, in terms of formulas, it's just a set of x comma y, where y minus x is between minus 1 and 1, and y plus x is between minus 1 and 1. Alright, well, notice this involves a y minus x, a y plus x, which also appear here and here, so maybe it's a good idea to use u equals to y minus x and v to be y plus x. I know, so clever, but I kind of made this example based on you know, this change of variables. So, just like before here, we had u to be our new variables. Well, here we want two new variables. u is uh, y minus x, and v is y plus x. That's the first thing we did. The second thing we want to figure out is what happens to the square when we apply you know, u and v to it. And notice the following. So. S is really the set where y minus x is between minus 1 and 1, and y plus x is between minus 1 and 1. Well, it's really the set where u and v are between minus 1 and 1. 
because u is y minus x, v is y plus x. In other words, once you apply this change of variables, this diamond will actually become a square. So you really have this picture. This is s, and then when you apply, this is in x comma y variables, and in those variables, u and v, you know, s will become actually a square. Which is good news because this is hard to deal with, but this is much easier to deal with. Okay, we did the change of variables, we figure out what happens to the square. Last but not least, we need to figure out the differentials. And as I said, what did we do before? We calculated du, we calculated the new variables in terms of the old variables. And here, instead of having du, we'll have du dv will become something times dx dy. And that something will be a positive number, and in fact, it will involve all those differentials. So partial u over partial x, partial u over partial y. Again, the new variables in terms of the old variables, v over partial y. But again, we want a scalar, so we want a number, not a matrix. So you take the determinant of that, and actually turns out that you put an absolute value because it's sort of a, a positive change of variables. And again, relating to my old video, my previous video, it has to do because if you take a little square of area dx dy, if you apply this matrix to it, du over dx, blah, 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 it changes it to some other weird object with area du dv, and the point is, the new volume, du dv, becomes the old volume times the determinant of this matrix, absolute value. Okay, and now, in this case, let's figure out what this is. So we get absolute value of determinant of, all right, uh, we're there, y minus x, so partial u over partial x, partial u over partial x is minus 1, Partial u over partial y is 1, partial v over partial x is 1, partial v over partial y is 1, so um, again, dx dy, and we get, so determinant becomes minus 1 minus 1, so absolute value of minus 2 dx dy, which becomes 2 dx dy. So du dv is 2 dx dy, and then Therefore, the original thing, dx dy, is one half du dv. It's one half du dv. And then let's look at our integral. Our integral now becomes so double integral over s y minus x squared plus y plus x squared dx dy becomes. The double integral over our new, you know, straightened out square, so integral from minus 1 to 1, integral from minus 1 to 1, this is u squared plus v squared, you know, this dx dy basically becomes 1 half du dv. And then you can actually calculate this, so, it's not too bad because those are, you know, two separate kind of integrals, so this is one half integral from 0 to 1, 1 third u cubed from 0 to 1, dv plus integral from 0 to 1, 1 half v cubed from v equals to 0 to v equals to 1 du, so in the, obviously some examples are more complicated than that, but you get one half integral from zero to one, one third dv plus integral zero to one, one third du, which becomes one half times one third plus one third. Okay, so one half times two thirds, which becomes one third in the end.
Bye! <laughs>